there were no spouses were, were harmed in the filming. in the making of this brand. <laughs> I related to that very very strongly. But but it was an evolution. Um, originally, it was about a podcast. We, we, like she said, unofficially, we were we've been coaching couples for a very long time. Um, and then I was like, you know, we we met went met with ET in San Francisco and and saw the group there and. Um, not not as a business meeting, but it was like as a conference. Mm -hmm. And we came out of that. And I was like, you know, let's just do a podcast. Let's reach more couples. Let's let's. We feel like we have been blessed and gone through some stuff. And the reason that we have gone through it was to to really act as a guide, if you will, for other couples. And said, so like, let's reach more individuals. Over fifty percent of Black Americans are unmarried, and only two percent of Black families in America have a net worth over one million dollars. We are on our journey to not only join that 2%, but grow that 2%. Facts. I'm Devon Travell, creator of Black Wall Street, the board game with my beautiful co-host. I'm Sinclair, AKA the health nerd. You can go to our website at theM4show.com our Instagram at the M4 show and our YouTube channel at melanated married millionaires in the main. And welcome to the M4 show. Since our last time that we talked, sure. um, I started my master's program. So Woo! Come on. slight flex. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. So, you know, um, on a daily, you know, I'm trying not to take everybody's head off in the house Amen. so you know Amen. <laughs> fight the good fight over there sir fight the good fight <laughs> wow they drive me crazy but it's okay it's all good you know <laughs> diaphragm diaphragm yeah no well now that thank you sinclair mm -hmm. uh something mm -hmm. else that she's gonna help me with so yeah that's yeah. all good Yep. So I want to I want to kind of jump into it. This is a question that has been new to the the rebranded podcast that I try to ask as many people as possible. And the question is, do you believe every <laughs> what's what's funny, Queen? I just I know the way it's, it's coming. I like the way you the, the way you answer it, the way you ask it is like, you know, that we disagree on this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 we do. We do disagree on this. On this do, answer. You do you believe? that every family slash couple should have a business. Well, what is your, your y'all's take on it as individuals or as a couple? That every family should have a business? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, no. Uh, we got another <laughs> one, folks. We got another one. <laughs> I, I don't. Um, I, I, I mean, I think that because we share blood and we're family that people think that we're supposed to do certain things. Mm -hmm. And um, no, I, 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 I just don't. Cause some, just because I've got your blood doesn't mean that you're a good partner for me, that mm -hmm. we even like each other. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. no. So, you know, no. so I'm a yes and no. I don't believe that it's every yes or no, babe. You can't do both. <laughs> you know, what? Be yes and no. See, that's what I go through. Go ahead. The Gemini answer is uh, <laughs> no. I do not believe that every couple should have a business together. But yes, I it's do. A family, not just a couple. Okay, well, I'm sorry. And no, uh, but yes, I do believe that every couple or family should have a brand. Mm, what's the difference talk ed educate folks what's the difference between a business and a brand you, you can have a business that could be extremely generic just because you have a, a hamburger business or a restaurant business there should be a brand the brand speaks to uh what's unique about that individual people should be able to see the brand and have an idea it should make them it should emote something right it should give them some kind of feeling when i say that for instance when i talk about married and the crazy you know People, we want people to understand that when we talk married into crazy, that it stands for something. There's five pillars, but mm -hmm. we want every family when they hear about declare, when they hear right. about you know your family, they should know that you stand for something. Your branch mm -hmm. stands, for something. and that's what I believe in. I believe that every family should have a brand that stands out that enters the room before you do. Mm -hmm. But having a business together, that's a completely different thing. <laughs> 
got you. I will. I like the added value of the brand in there. That mm-hmm. wasn't a part of the discussion before, but mm-hmm. I like that. Every family should have a brand. Mm-hmm. People should know you for something. You should have your values that are put out into the world. I'll get that. Now, but both of y'all said no to the business, though. You know, in my opinion, you know, just this, th- this speaking it. I think families should have a sustained way of creating wealth for themselves, whether that's for real estate, whether that's stocks, whether that is a fashion brand or a podcast show as like, you know, as families, we're constantly making economic decisions all the time. Right. So why not just have a business together? That way we can take advantage of tax deductions together. We can take advantage of group economics together. That is that is my my strong stance. And I have initially was <clears throat> kind of strongly like, no, that's it's just not for everybody. Um, but I think after we hashed it out on one of our episodes, <laughs> um, I landed on. I don't know that every bit, every family or, or couple needs to start a business outside of their household. But I do believe that if you don't have a business, your household should be run like a business if that makes sense so like um your you have income coming in you have expenses you have goals you have a five-year plan you have uh you know a way to pass that 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 household wealth down to your kids right right? i do think that that should be in place even if it's just your household family expenses i think it's important to like get folks involved get your kids involved right and be able to have a a sustained a systematic way to pass down wealth within your family mm-hmm. so in that sense like your household almost should be a business and i do think that um every family should operate in that way um but yeah i don't necessarily think that every family needs to go out and like start a podcast or mm-hmm. run a restaurant or anything like that I, but i do feel like even if you don't that you can still run your run your family as it or run your household as a business i like that you know, look we're gonna get right back into the amazing podcast but if you didn't know in 2017 we created black wall street the board game because we thought more families needed to know about the history of tulsa black wall street more families needed to know about the legacy of black excellence left behind of Tulsa Black Wall Street that we can own a Madam CJ Walker Beauty Salon. We can have a Booker T. Washington High School. We can have an Uncle Steve Barbecue. We can have a Renaissance man like Simon Barry who had his own taxi service and bus service that got bought out by the city of Tulsa. We have brilliance in our DNA. We wanted to make sure that your family can play a game that teaches them about this brilliance. So we have Black Wall Street, the board game right here. We had the first edition available in 2017 that got sold out. We're on the second edition right now, or you can get the beautiful masterpiece version of the game as well. It's up to you. Head to playblackwallstreet.com and get yourself Black Wall Street, the board game to empower you, your family, and generations to come. Playblackwallstreet.com. Let's get back to the episode. They both make sense. Mm-hmm. Actually, you know, so good so job. For, <laughs> thank thank you. you. You know, five <laughs> points for Gryffindor over here. We'll take it. We'll we'll take it. Um, so y'all as a as a family and as a couple have decided to start a brand and a business. Can you kind of talk through your your early mindset to why y'all wanted to to kind of even go on this entrepreneurship journey together? Well, and well she, she looked right at you. She said, mm. uh-huh. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Lovey is the, he's the guy that he's like, Hey, let's do this. And let's, we should do a business. We should, he's all, he's very entrepreneurial and um, in his way of thinking me, I, I, I was more on the consumer side. He's like, no, we need to change that type of thinking. So it was really his idea more than mine um, to make it an official type of business we've always as far as like with married into crazy what we do we do coaching it's always been more unofficial we've you know talk with couples throughout our our marriage and um but he was just like no we we know what we're doing we finna do this you know and do the podcast and blah 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 and i just was like oh okay you know i ain't gonna say i was yipping and skipping to to do it and he's 
practically pulling me by my hair, you know, almost caveman style to to get it going. But <laughs> there were no spouses were, were harmed in the filming. in the making of this brand. <laughs> I related to that very very strongly. <laughs> but but it was an evolution. Um, originally, it was about a podcast. We, we, like she said, unofficially, we were we've been coaching couples for a very long time, um, and then. I was like, you know, we, we met went met with ET in San Francisco and, and saw the group there and um, not not as a business meeting, but it was like as a conference. Mm -hmm. And we came out of that. And I was like, you know, let's just do a podcast. Let's reach more couples. Let's let's we feel like we had been blessed and gone through some stuff. And the reason that we had gone through it was to to really act as a guide, if you will, for other couples. And so like, let's reach more individuals. The podcast grew with no monetization insight or in mind, went from that to let's coach and mm -hmm. then then it went to okay from coaching then it became oh we we can do clothing off of the logo and the branding and then it was no we can teach further we can have an evergreen so it, it really mm -hmm. began to evolve but it started with a very with the brand the brand was we have a purpose and from that purpose the trunk if you will then the branches began to grow yeah so how did you because I, I love the kind of like the slow progression of let's do a podcast, let's just grow our pillars. And then from there, we'll eventually get into a monetization. So trying to make it, you know, functional and applicable for other couples watching this. How did you determine what your tree trunk was, what your brand was and how you stumbled upon, you know, married into crazy and the, those five pillars? How do you go from we're a couple, we're individuals, this is what we stand for to transforming that into a brand? I wish I could tell you that there was a very calculated methodology to it. Yeah. Uh -huh. But, you know, honestly, it was our calling called us. It, it was, we had a calling. And you know what? It's it's about being your true authentic selves. There was a calling on our, on our spirits and we answered that calling. And from that calling, things developed. But it had to have a sense of authenticity and we had to be true to what God was calling us to do. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like Lovey said, it was, it, there was for on my perspective there was no one certain thing that happened and we had like okay now we you know it was just like maybe some aha moments like huh oh okay let's it was just something innately dropped in spirits our spirits mine anyway um <laughs> <laughs> and then we just it, we we you know took that path okay so we're here oh maybe that makes sense. Okay, look, well, let's do that. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Let's do that. So we, we do believe it was divine because we didn't sit down and say, okay, you know, we want to start a business. We need to do something for the family and let's build a business plan. Oh, you want to do this? No. Uh -huh. You want to do this? Mm -hmm. No. It, it wasn't a checklist. It was just that there's a calling. We wanted to bless others mm -hmm. and it, it enriched us in the process to work with other couples to help them because we love doing that. Mm -hmm. And then as that happened, other things were revealed like, oh, have you ever thought of this? And a lot of what we do now, the monetization pieces, it wasn't necessarily our idea. It was clients or people that we worked mm. with. Like, have you guys thought about doing this? Because we do that. We buy that. And I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. Like, no, well, I never thought of it. So, we'll do that yeah. then. You know? And and as long as, I mean, there were some ideas. There's some stuff that we didn't implement. <laughs> <laughs> but the things that made sense that weren't a far stretch from what we were doing, mm. it's an add-on. It's not our, our main focus. It's always staying true to the covenant of marriage. And, mm. building. and then if these other things augment our main focus, mm -hmm. then we, we evaluate it and decide whether or not we want to add it. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the M4 show and our mission to increase the wealth of black families. If you received any value from this episode, any value at all, any, 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 do us a favor and give us a like and subscribe on YouTube and Apple, Spotify, all anything, them. all of them, all, them. all of them, wherever you're listening, <laughs> go ahead and like and subscribe. And after you like and subscribe, make sure you send this episode to at least one family that you really want to see win. We'll catch y'all next time. Peace.